He's there. Now I have a frog. Frog. have a frog on his head. Now that we came up with the idea. Yes. No. Yes, we, we are. are. No. Oh my god, kids can they be trained? What? Oh, like if, like no, if you just I, eat them flies, can you like train you them? You don't know what they eat. It's probably people. Everything on this planet is people. No, I think there's also orc and pyranid. come around here, but... There would be some really right. hungry toads. So, day nine is, and the sun rises over day ten. All the plus is the armory, right? Yeah. Come on, heal. Thank God, another day of... Hey, he's Herbery back, back up. Too. Yeah, he's Herbery's back up. So, yeah, I have to fully help. Okay. Uh, compelling the workers on the armory. I succeeded. Remember, we have all the troops. They failed. All of them? Yeah. Even the trade one. No, wait, that's right. We've got everybody working on it. They failed. And they failed. Yeah, that armory's not getting built. They're all playing each other all. Oh, they're just having a very hard time of it. Hey, hey, they do. Look, it would be okay. Work. It would. It would be okay if it weren't for the fact that they had to fill in the crater you guys left behind from the exploding shuttle craft. Yeah, so it's not that big of a deal. They've just been filling dirt the whole time. They did a good job. Well, like, give them some slack. They're still doing a job. Yeah, we give them slack and we die. This is a death world. So, the other shuttle breaks down and, uh, Breaks orbit and land. Yes, actually land. <laughs> quite, quite, quite fantastically, actually land. Steve Smith? No. Okay. And, uh. Oh god, I know who it's gonna be. A man gets out. He's just, uh, just a soldier. Looks like he's uh, just a rough, fresh recruit, a private. Carrying a big fucking box. I'm in a big, like a big chest of drawers. Mm-hmm. Looks around for one of you guys and finds, uh, you. Okay. Walks over you, puts it down. Says, Sir, delivery from Steve Smith! <laughs> what is it? There's a note inside. He says you will read it and then you will rendezvous with him on the space shuttle. Station. Space station shuttle. Space shuttle. Please don't kill me, sir. <laughs> I open the box and read the note, I suppose. We should probably make him stay with the shuttle, just in case. We might need a second one. Inside is a, a note from Steve Smith. Um, indicating is there anything else? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 it's, it's got five drawers, uh, and in each drawer is a uh, dress uniform for each of you. No! It says, put these on and meet me on the space station ASAP. <laughs> well, what do we tell him? Go back to the I ride with him. Yeah, I'm gonna go with I him. I saw how he landed. <laughs> I didn't, no, no, I didn't mention any of you. I'm just gonna go lay down for a little while, take a shower, you know. It's probably a good idea. You're not gonna tell any of us. Yeah. Well, there is this chest of drawers in the middle of the room. Right out there in the open. Well, I go to investigate. Do you even know what's there? What are you doing? <laughs> I mean, this is the middle of day 10. What have you been doing? Um, I was actually going to be sitting on the top of the wall near the gate. Just, just watching? Yeah, just looking at Walk out of the I mean, very stretch. I'm just, help. I'm just thinking it may be made to kill us, but I mean, it's a force. It's kind of beautiful, so. When I saw the no. shuttle landing, I went outside because I was going to ream somebody's ass for breaking cardinal rule number one. <laughs> what? No shuttle! No flying! <laughs> We should do that. We should, like, burn out a section <laughs> of a forest in the shape of a giant shuttle with a big frog through it. So you can see it from orbit. It would grow back in, though. It yeah, would, yeah, pretty We just have a dedicated team to keep it getting wet. But yeah, I... Right to the point that it gets mauled to death, I guess? <laughs> blowing up my barking cup? Do you leave the note on top of the chest or yeah. in the chest? Yeah. Okay. I walk down the stairs off the wall. 
yeah, I, I see the chest, and I see him going towards it, and so, yeah, yeah, I'm going to investigate this. Looks like my kind of chest. Like, hey, a chest. Yeah, they gathered around yeah. it. And a shuttle. What the hell Wait. is this? Can you read? Yeah, I took literacy. Okay, right here. here. I just decided that. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I grab the note and see what it's about. I guess we do, too. What the hell is this? Oh, look at me. Look at her. She's the one reading the note. I open the drawer that has my robes in it. Oh, no. No, this does not do. But, no, no, it does. I can read mine. (laughs) Oh, that's terrible. (laughs) You don't have literacy? No. I don't have eyes, either. (laughs) (laughs) All right, you got me. (laughs) So, um... What does it say? Apparently, we're all supposed to get dressed in this stuff and meet them on... Uh, meet Steve Smith on the, uh, <laughs> on the space station. I open the door. What do we have here? An extremely nice, uh, navy dress uniform for you. I did it out. Hold it up. It's even got admiralty hat. Admiral. Oh, I'm just going to go take a shower and put this on. I'll do the same. Showering next to him. Yeah, showering, showering. showering with him. Ah. Well, alright then. It's creepy because he's half not human. It's true. Yeah. He doesn't give a crap because he's half not human. Is, 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 there a, is it co ed showers? Yes. Oh, good. It's the Imperial Guard. It's just one giant open room with a shower in it. Okay, think, think the you shower is from Star Trek. Do Jupiter. not take off your headdress. Duh! Really? Not my eyes! <laughs> I, I, I hit <laughs> yeah, here. I know we were watching. I hit here. It's just like... Ow, oh, God, how did you do that? <laughs> Wait, tell <kills> everybody. <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah, think, think showers from Starship Troopers. So we all have to shower in view of each other. Talking about half a baby. Oh, yeah. So, like, I guess with Jessica showers, oh, my God. Because, like, she's the only female. Oh, so, my like, God. So, so there's there, 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 female female the Imperial Guard. I didn't see, like, like seven, like, eight, eight like, uh, 27 other guards suddenly have to take showers. <laughs> William, are you going to roll to make sure to see which one of us has to pick up the soap? No. <laughs> no shower rate. Unless you guys insist on shower rate. In this case, you can roll amongst yourselves. <laughs> it's amazing how much you've grown, William. <laughs> I'm just going to say good luck. You drop the soap. Have it fun. I'm old enough now. I'll let you rape each other rather than forcing it on you. Is that the definition of? Someone, so, someone drops the soap, you have to roll the seat and picks it up. On, I grab hey, I'm not making you guys roll for your dicks, either. <laughs> this is I, possibly the first game I haven't done that. I, I, no, usually I, it's I, everybody I, else I who demands to roll for their dicks. I grab my mono sword. <laughs> exactly. I'm just like, if anybody tries to touch me. Pretty much. Is this the first time you've showered since you've been here? Yeah. It's been ten days. <laughs> <laughs> Beef steak. Uh, well, I mean, what, I are you? you? We I haven't been showering. No, I have been showering. I've just been turning off everyone's sense of smell. So <laughs> <laughs> he gets in and takes off his clothes, and everyone in the whole fucking room is just like, oh my god! I think you are just the stink. I think I'm done now. This is, this is a death world. It's hot, and it's humid, and it's miserable, and it's terrible. And you just stink. Like you are made of ass. I'm just like, oh, this is just glorious. As the smegma drips from your forehead. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Gotta clean that once a day, dude. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh, skin jokes. This, uh, this is highbrow. This is the least appropriate music, though. Right? I was just taking that. This is a seriously epic game. I'm going to be cleaner than I've ever been before. <laughs> well, he was controlling music showering. first. God. <laughs> now it's shower music. Anyway, everyone gets clean. <laughs> then everyone gets dressed. Plus five, clean experience. Yes. Yeah. Yes. No. Yeah. Nah, I'm going to go with one, guys. It's 
really just a nicer version of your robes. I go look in the mirror. I go look up. I go look in the mirror. <laughs> Quite nice. <laughs> Did you shave? Have you ever shaved? Do you, you know what shaving is? I don't like really, a perma stubble. I don't really <laughs> shave. I just kind of like mm, we leave leave some leave okay. stubble. I uh, uh I should tell my my little uh, hawk and uh. My seat, nice and shiny, my beautiful, my tripod. I, uh, kind of gross in I take my pistol, which was given to me by, by the run trainer himself. Do uh, you put on your monocle? No! <laughs> I'm not a wizard! <laughs> I strap on my, uh... It's like a wizard, Harry. <laughs> I put on my own wizard. Not Harry, either. I strap on my RGO tech pistol, you know... Probably this way, like up here, where everyone can see it. It's a big gift from the road trader. <laughs> so proud. Right. Nobody else cares. But I know, but I can. It's good you. that you have something to proud of. We should eat first. Eat. Wait, after we have our nice uniforms on? <laughs> Are you going to just roll to eat? Yeah. No, I'm not going to eat. I put it on a bit. I am. I already ate before I showered. Fuck, my plans are foiled. <laughs> I cover myself in a tra- plastic bag. Grabbed a napkin. No, no, I don't really care. Just eat. I succeeded at eating. Nice. All right. Oh wow, you crit eating. You eat the shit out of that food. <laughs> if I don't spill anything. Here's the Give me that food. Ah! I'm ready to go. I'm one bite plate off. I got this. <laughs> You're made of machine. It just feeds your parts. Exactly. <laughs> He's got a Mr. Fusion from Back to the Future strapped to the back. <laughs> Terrible. So the king and the man of the world. Do you ever just like jerks off into it? <laughs> hey, I guess I'm an emergency. It's just protein, Marty. Will you give me fuel, Marty? Help me out here. We're bad people. <laughs> now. I'm definitely going to have to flag these videos on YouTube. Now what? Board the shuttle and pray. I'm going to take a nap. On the, on the shuttle? I suppose. I'm going to put all my seatbelts. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> 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 I'm wrapping myself in. I shot myself in and I take the shield off and kadunk into, into the floor right in front of me. Alright, that seems psychotically dangerous. That's a bladed weapon. You should probably stow that. <laughs> if it comes <laughs> loose <laughs> while you're crashing. <laughs> no, no, I'll put, it, I'll put it back in my back. Put it in the so everyone's strapped in, ready to go, Sam's asleep. Maximum fastening. And your shuttle pilot fails. But doesn't bomb. <sighs> so it goes. <laughs> you used it all up on the way in, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> is, he, is he freaking out? Aha! Oh, okay. And you fly into space. Not dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's important. Well, this is the best. We need to keep this guy with us. In a while. You kind of land. How many people do we kill? He's getting his off 20 feet above the landing pad and then letting him fall. Oh! Good dude! It's not, there. <laughs> it's not so bad. We're in zero gravity. No. No, the station as the point is, there's no exploding, and there's no death. It's true. Best, best shuttle ride I've had in months. So. Thanks there, launch pad. Yeah. Quack. <laughs> Just mark the shuttle. You know what? That's going to be your pilot's nickname. That's launch it. <laughs> That's it. I'm writing it down. <laughs> <laughs> launch pad McQuack. Mick. Quack. Mick <laughs> Jack. <laughs> like that sounds right. Mick Jack. Mick Jack sounds funny. Launch pad Mick Jack. <laughs> okay. So, yes, the shuttle door's open. And there's Steve Smith waiting for you. In his finest digs. He looks like he's, he's, he really is. Okay, fine. He is. He's wearing a leisure suit. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Well, you're yeah. looking nice today, sir. That's right, I am. Now, line up and let me inspect you. Hello, cat. This cat needs to go. Yeah. Okay. 
I fail to I make him like me more, but I don't botch. <laughs> Well, he's standing at attention. What about the rest? I think he's dead. Yeah. Nobody woke me up. That's true. Hmm. <laughs> Where's Mordecai? I'm right there in my chair asleep. You know what? Leave it. We don't need him right now. The rest of you, you'll do. Come with me. We have important business. Yes, sir. So he walks ahead of you and leads you through uh, the winding maze of uh, Wander Station. And the whole time he's talking, I've managed to locate a very important person, somebody with wealth and influence, who might be willing to fund our cause, help us repair the station, help us repair the fortress, help us repair the ship. She has lot of money brain. and equipment. <laughs> it's just that when you will, I can't just compel her to sign a check. You know, you are going to be this evening. What do you mean by this place? What do you mean by this place? You'll have to find out for yourself. God. I'm gonna go back to the planet. No, you're not. You're gonna be the boy me. No, it might be him. He's the mule. Challenge accepted. <laughs> oh, you're gonna be danger too, in real life. You're going to. He, I was gonna say, it, it, he, he leads you through a final pair of, of double doors, and as they slip open, you walk into uh, an elegant ballroom. With with uh, a live band playing and a number of uh, very stuffy imperial officials, who look very uncomfortable, and they're all just sort of milling about. There's a bunch of soldiers here too, and they look drunk. I walk up to them. There's an open bar.